They started clearing that land last two weeks. Ah, beautiful. Yeah. So when are you going to the village again? This weekend. This weekend. Yeah. See, I have to go and supervise the work. Are you coming with me? No, unfortunately not. I'll be traveling to Kenya for a business meeting. I should be back in a week's time. Okay. <laughs> Let's go inside. I'm sure the food is ready now. Okay. <laughs> so what did you tell him when he said, when he said that? I just told him this guy went to the smoking house. That's all. Yes. Who is that?
Dead. Dead on your radio. Dead. Dead. Make yourself so uncomfortable while I hit some water for you to help you pass. Don't worry. Might not be able to go down. This one that you are sounding like this. I hope everything is alright. What about that, Ben? You travel out of the country. Mike, is everything alright? I don't know how to say this. We were sent from the village to give the Ben a message. He's needed in the village immediately. Needed in the village? What has happened? Dear God is dead. Dear God is what? He died yesterday morning. How? What? How? Auntie, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even explain. I went to the house in the morning to call on him so that we could leave for the site. And I saw him dead in his bedroom. We have to send a message across to the wife. Without my consent, what happened to all the money? 
mortuaries in this town? No mortuary will have him. Why? He was all blotted up. The body was already decayed. Rubbish. I will get to the root of this matter. My brother will not die like a goat. Ben, where are you going? Back in Baru, we are going to the village right now. But who will stay with the children? Call up your sister. If she's not available, put them in the car and pray with them.
don't know. I, I just saw him dead. Hey, Yoko. You are just coming? Yes, I'm just coming, sir. Yes, we were told that you traveled outside the country. Yes, I only came back yesterday, sir. Bad thing. It's a bad thing that has happened. I'm the only one left now. Now, where are you heading? I was going to see my... My wife's father, Papa Abeke. There is something you need to know very urgently about your family. Why not drive straight to my house? I'll join you later. We, we can go in my car. All right. brother Namde died after clearing the land at Okula, where he intended to uh, plant his seed yams. Two years later, Amos died after preparing to build on that same plot of land. Now, Godwin has followed suit. Does it not occur to you that something is wrong somewhere? I've thought about it, sir. Then they say death kills. The same way, on three different occasions, in the same family? Ben, I'll tell you something. Your father was my best friend when he lived. I cannot just sit by and watch his family wiped out. There is a curse on that land that has been claiming the lives of your brothers. Unless it is removed fast, it will claim yours too. What cause? A few years before your father's death, he was locked up in very serious land dispute with Ibokwe and Uchenna, his brothers. That was the source of the curse. How? This is the story. 
When we were young and agile... Udenta. Yes. You do not flood the hands of the gods. That land does not belong to you. To whom does it belong? Abba Akwe left it when he died. He did not assign it to anybody. Abba Akwe was my grandfather. Abba Akwe was equally Ibokwe's grandfather. And Ibokwe's father, being the first son, had claim over whatever Abba Akwe owned before anyone else. As a friend, I advise you to leave it to him. Are you saying I should stop my claim to what is rightly belonging to me because of the reason that Ibokwe's father came into the world first? That is not what I am saying. All I'm saying is that you should not pursue this matter as if your life depends on it. You may get your hand burned. I will pursue the matter. I will pursue it with all the energy I have. My children will grow up soon. What will I leave for them when I die? I will own that land. <laughs> the work of the tortoise is in measured steps of caution. Carefully, my friend, carefully. We are having a meeting today to decide to whom that land belongs. But I'm sure the decision will come into my favor, to my favor. Because I have gone round and have seen all the elders in private. And I believe Ibukwe and his brother have done the same. But no matter the decision, they will not leave that meeting alive. You ask for a heavy price, Udenta. Yes. Just for the piece of land. Yes. I ask for the lives of those who want to destroy my family and all that belongs to me. I say, when he be a million, how long I go to get them? But I'm not going to go. How long I get those in the cocoon? I'm going. Hey, hey, we will go to the cage. It is not in my position to ask. What you want, you get. Yes. If any retribution comes out of it, let it be on your head. Yes, let it be on my head. For as long as they cross here, consider your wish done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. My father was Abarakwe's first son. We are men of tradition and culture. And our tradition holds it that when a man dies, all he owns passes to his first son. Only when he specifically says so. My father, bless his soul, told me emphatically that that land was given to him by Abarakwe before he died. Elders, Utenta is telling a lie. You are the one telling a lie. Utenta, you're telling a lie. You are lying. Utenta, you're lying. 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 you are we can stay here bickering a whole day without achieving anything. Nobody was there when Abarakwe died. And so, how can anyone say what his wishes were? What we can do is take this case to Ohamiri Oracle. In this time, when we have embraced Christianity, no, I'll not be a party to it. This is a very simple matter. Abarakwe died and left everything to Adibo, his first son. He also left something for Udeze. If Udenta says that was a piece of land, let him have it. You, will not be you men must be out of your senses. No, Mazi. My heart tells me that this land belongs to Udenta. And my heart does not make mistakes. Ujena, let's get out of here. We cannot find justice in this council of thieves. Thieves! Ibokwe, hey. may the devil take you. I say, may the devil take you. You come and take the land. Come and take Come and take it. You come and take it. You open your mouth. 
and call the elders. You call them council of thieves. No, you, right. you, no. you are the, you are the thief. I'll claim that you are the thief. I'll claim you it. Cannot claim I'll claim it. it. You cannot claim it. I'll 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 claim it. i has you then not stuff your pockets with money and befuddled your senses? Sooner than later, we shall see the hands fit all. I should have known that, they were, that I was dealing with a bunch of thieves and turncoats. But all of them know the truth. They know. Yes, yes, they know. But they're wicked to do it. Not allowed to Yes, that is the thing. God of our fathers, gods of the land. They have forcefully given to Denta what rightly belongs to me because I did not bribe them. This land is taking my life. It has killed my elder brother, Uchenna. I have no one to run to. I have no property to bequeath to my children. Must the poor always suffer in the hands of the rich? I also pour forth my blood on this land. Let sudden and violent death fall on any member of Udenta's family who enters this land. My blood runs forth and so shall death. Shall not find peace. They shall not find peace until the end of time. taken the lives of your brothers. Ongus Rike, Ibokwe's only son, is not happy that the land is still in your family. I advise that you hand the land back to him. That way, the curse will be removed.
That is not possible there, Nosiki. Now that God is dead, I intend to use that piece of land to build a palm oil processing factory. And it will be cowardice for me to allow anyone else to take my father's only property. I will not give it to Amuzuriki. I will not. Well, if the ear refuses to listen, when the head is chopped off, the ear goes with it. Do as you please. Yeah, but they... Is there no other means of averting this curse? If there were, I would have told you now. So, what do you want to do about it? About what? About the curse. I intend to go and see the reverend. They say causes can be broken through prayer. <laughs> What's so funny? You want to go and see your reverend? Come on, Ben, grow up. These people are charlatans. There are more refined ways of dealing with such things. What ways? How badly do you want that piece of land? It's the only thing I have in the village and I intend to keep it. Very well then. I will introduce you somewhere. I don't know if he's going to be the next to die. No, don't talk like that, mother. You are a Christian. Causes, whether ancestral, has no hold on you. Just pray without season. Your husband will not die. I pray so. I'm praying for you too. So. Be strong in prayers. Thank huh? you, Auntie Martin. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Okay. against flesh and blood. From what I see, somebody must have placed a powerful cause on your family. 
I would like to see you and your husband at least before the week runs out. We need to pray and break the ancestral curses that have been placed on your family. I don't think Ben will want to come. If he wants to be free, he must. And you must try to convince him. His life depends on it. Father today. Why? Because of what is happening. Ben, I can't close my eyes and pretend I'm not scared. When your brothers are dead, you are the one next on the line. Martha said they had the same problem in their family. But since they all embraced God, things have changed for them. What did the reverend say? He said it is an ancestral curse. He said we'll have to break it if we will survive. Ben, the Reverend would like to see you for prayers. Are my hands clean? Yes, they are. Have I ever taken anything that belongs to somebody else? No, you haven't. Have I ever killed anybody? No, you haven't. Ben, that's not the issue. Listen, issue listen, here. listen. Nothing is going to happen to me or to you or to this family. All right? I don't want to lose you. I, I can't manage on my own. I will be okay. Nothing will happen to me. Tell the Reverend I would make out time to come and see him. Thank you very much. Thank you. And let's pray first. Mm. Let's pray first. I have to go to the study. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay. dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, shall not be afraid of the terror. 
arrow by night, nor of the arrow that flieth by day. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand side, but they shall not come near thee. Your problem is within your family. Your inability to project into esoteric realms. Your inability to tap the powers that is available in the astral to you. It's because somebody in your house treads a divergent path from yours. That's your wife. Yes, Ben. Your wife is a Christian and her prayers keeps you away from enjoying the benefits of this brotherhood. You must have to stop her. Especially the midnight prayers. If not, you are laying yourself open to a whole lot of danger. Comes easy. By the time you see the kind of girls I'm talking about, be glad to wait for five hours without breaking a fat. for your beauty queens. I had to engage myself in a noble pursuit. So you prefer her? my salvation, my ever-present help in times of trouble, the strong and the mighty Torah, O Lion of the tribe of Judah, thou who savest those who trust in thee with the right hand, thou man of battle, Father rise, O Lord, what Father, is going on here? Father Lord, do not keep quiet as your children go down in the pits and shame, Father God, rise, damn it, I ask a question here! I'm trying to pray him. So you you, you you have to disturb the entire neighborhood? I wasn't disturbing anybody. The neighbors keep complaining, the children can't have any sleep, all because you, ha you, you have to pray. Ben, 
You and I are the ones who have problems. If the neighbors are offended because I'm trying to solve our problems, then there's nothing I can do about it. Like hell there isn't. But there's something that I can do about it. From now on, there will be no more midnight prayers. You want to pray, you pray in the afternoon. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear?
You see, in your present situation, it will be foolhardy for only one to stop your wife from praying. You see, God is the answer to every problem we have. And it is high time both of you give your life truly to God. Well, Uncle, I did not actually stop her from praying. I only told her that the neighbors were complaining and that she should tone down a little bit, especially at midnight. That's all. I didn't, I didn't ask her to stop praying. Never no, mind. Try to be low headed. Hmm? I will talk to her. Keep no level head. The Bible says that the fervent prayer of the righteous have a much. I will talk to her. Because when she told me, I was not happy. Please. Eh? Thank you. I come some other time, but take good care of your family. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. me to your uncle. Come on, don't be ridiculous. I did not report you. I only told him to come and ask you why to stop praying at midnight. Maybe it will make you listen to the voice of reason. And since when did the affairs of this family become of public concern? Uncle Ojuku is not family. Ow! Did I ask you to bring your family into my affairs? Don't I have the right to run my family the, the, the way that I want it? Answer me! You don't do that to that again. Will you get out of here? I swear to God, if you touch me, I'll break your head. I swear it. Yes, um, let me get it on the dining table. I'll be back. Um, Mr. Ben, your wife and I have been talking about you. Is that so? Oh, yes. I told her that I needed to see you so that we can sit down and discuss. 
About what? She told me that you stopped her from praying. Listen. If I hear any more of that from you in this house, I will throw you out. Mr. Ben, you are taking a wrong stand on this issue. You do not war against flesh and blood and... Get outside. Get out! But Ben, Ben, you only came to... Shut up! Get out now! Out! I said get out! And if I see those two left legs of yours in this house again, you will know why I am better and better. And you? But what have I done wrong again? You will soon find out. enough to buy all the things you need, at least for now. When it's time for me to meet your parents, we'll buy more things, eh? 50,000 naira. So tell me, have you chosen a plate yet? Uh, I should do that by the end of this week. Let's not be too much in a hurry, eh? Okay. I've just been able to send Anna and the kids to the village. Oh, really? Send him in. And who is that? My wife's uncle. I think, uh, I don't think I'm ready for this stuff this morning. All right, let me run along there. I'll see you later on at the hotel. Yeah. I almost forget. Mm -hmm. See you. Yeah, I'll see you. Okay. that I hear. What did you hear? That you asked Hannah to part of the village with the children. I did not ask her to. Uncle, I sent her to the village because I want to know where my problems are coming from. Your problems are coming from you, Ben. Your problems are from you. Listen, if you want to die as a non-believer, don't take my knees down with you. Please. Uncle, I did not send her to the village because she prays. For God's sake, I pray to I just sent her to, to the village because Anna has been causing a lot of problems in the house. What are the problems? She brings all kinds of strangers to the house in the name of pastors, you know, that they've come to pray for us and things like that. I don't need strangers to pray for me. If I want prayers, I know where to go to. But why didn't you report to me? At least you should have told me. Listen, sending her back to the village is not the best. Mind my words, it's not the best. However, I will talk to her, but sending her back to the village is not the best. I'll see you.
progress in the brotherhood disturbs me a lot. You've been stuck in the same elementary level since you joined. You're not making any progress. So, how do you measure progress? Wealth, power, fame. Since you joined the brotherhood, nothing good has ever come your way. It's not my fault, really. It's my, my wife. You know, she's a very strong Christian, and um, it's, uh, it's affecting my progress. Ben, we're endangering your life. The kind of power you require to belong to the Brotherhood, if you do not have it, if you attack, you are a dead dog. Strive to acquire this power. Strive to acquire the power. That is my son. I cannot do it. You don't have any choice. If you want to stay alive and not wander the dark regions of the earth, then you have to take a life. Why? Why should I use my son's life to replace mine? Why? We do not choose whose life is to be taken. The ancients who control this temple decide whose life is to be sacrificed. What if I refuse? Either of two things will happen. You either go mad or you drop dead where you stand. Once you have seen this screen, All for your safety, Ben. You have three sons. Giving one will not be a problem. Listen, I gave my father.
going on here? Is everybody deaf? Ben, My son? What happened to him? Anna! Ikechuku is dead. Are you out of your senses? What do you mean by that? Ben, he collapsed on his tears. A healthy boy? Talk to me, my friend! What? What? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Stand there, come and give me a hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. You take care of mommy, huh? Michael. James. Uncle. Mommy. 
I'll send a message across as soon as I get back. Huh? See, I went to your house two days ago. Mm -hmm. I was shocked at what I saw. Mm -hmm. You should come back to Lagos immediately, Anna. I hope all is all right. I hope Ben is fine. Well, I'm not so sure, Anna. I think there's a woman living with your husband now. That's why I'm here. Bat. It's Ben at home. Yes, and who are you? Tell him the uncle wants to see him. All right, just wait right there. Hey, who is there? I don't know. Oh, uncle. Anna. Uh, come, come. come.
get up. Go upstairs. So what, uh, what are you doing here? What am I doing in my house? I came to see how my husband is faring. And by the way, who is that girl? Brian, you've not answered your wife. Who is that girl? Is this an interrogation or what? I walk into my matrimonial home. I find a woman wearing my towel and for God's sake, I have every right in the world to ask who the bloody hell she is. All right then. You want to know who she is? Her name is Angela and she is my wife. She's your what? You heard me very well the first time. Man, you're an evil man. If an evil man wants to take a wife, he takes his people. When you came to marry my niece, you came with your people. So what the hell is going on here? I am a man. And I have the right to marry whomever I want to marry. And as many wives I, I, I want to marry. That is why I sent Anna to the village. So that I can have some peace in this house. This business is all mine. And I don't want any interference. Ojuku, I think you should leave now. And you, if you know what is good for you, you better run back to the village. Ben, if this is the way you want to live your life, I wish you the best. But whatever it is that is playing this drum of madness will soon be revealed. Anna, let's go. Um, Angela, Angela, come. I have forgiven him. Now, what do you want me to do? Father, do you know he has sent his wife back to the village? He is not living with his girlfriend. This is serious. Father, I want you to follow me to his house and convince him to bring his wife back. It is wrong for a man to wake up one morning and send his wife back into the village without doing anything. Okay. I'm prepared to do it, but on one condition. What is the condition, Father? You must be present. I am ready for anything, Father. I am ready, please, Father. What are you doing here? What's going on here? Who asked you to enter here? Listen. If 
you ever open your mouth to anybody about what you've seen here, I am going to strangle you. Do you understand me? Do you? Get out from here! No! Get out. No, Get out. no, 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 I'm afraid to no, 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 no. Why is it? Take some drugs. Come on, try and take something. Don't worry, I'll be alright. Just a small fever. This fever has been going on since yesterday night, and you call it a small fever. I said I would be alright. Don't bother. into my sanctum in the temple and all you can say is calm down what you encountered is just what you are running away from that is the spirit that has killed all your brothers no you told me I, I would be safe in the brotherhood you said I should sacrifice my son it will it will save me from this curse those were your exact words and they have not changed <gasps> if we are not a member of this call would have been dead by now. The attack shows that you are not operating at the right level. What do you mean? Now, what do you mean by this? What? You have to get to a level that is higher than the level the spirit operates. Now, you tell me how? How? How?
To be completely free, she has to go. No! No, 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 no! You, you are completely out of your senses! You hear? You've taken my son! What do you want with my daughter? You want to be free? Boy! Look! Bam! You're caught in dead and lunacy! No! No! I will not do it! Never! I, this time, I will not do it! You hear? I, I won't do it! Bam! Shut that gate! Shut the gate, quickly! He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Angela! I plead the blood of Jesus upon my husband. The plans of the enemy in his life shall never prosper. I send forth the Holy Ghost fire to consume all that the enemies have planned in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, you are the God that never fails. You are the God that answers prayers. You have given me dominion and authority over our principalities and powers. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray for me, He was an absolute fool. I cleaned out his house. Man, we now have a portfolio filled with liquid cash. Oh, let's get married right away. Then we can travel out and live life to the fullest. Imagine that idiot actually thought that I, Angela, was going to marry him. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know. Let's check it out. Okay. End of the road. See you here. The money is mine. I don't need you. Look at what I've done. If I had listened to my wife, all this will not have happened to me. Ikechuku is dead because I joined the cult. Angela disappeared with my money. 500,000 naira, my hard earned money. Uncle Ojuku tried to advise me. I did not listen. Reverend Father Paul tried to preach the word of God to me. I ignored and insulted him. I 
should have listened. God, please forgive me. Ben, let's go. Elders of Allah, I greet you all. Uh, I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting. I've called this meeting today to correct everything that has gone wrong in our family. You all are living witnesses to the horrible deaths of my elder brothers, Namdi. Amos and Godwin. Deaths that occurred because our father forcefully took what did not belong to him. That piece of land at Okuru. Our people have a saying that whenever a man wakes up, it's his morning. This is my morning. Omozurike. Before all the elders of this family present, I hereby renounce every claim to that piece of land. The God that I serve says that old things have passed away and everything must become new. Before everyone present here, and God bears me witness, that land belongs to you. Thank you. Thank you, dear Ben. You still remember my uncle. I will always respect you. And I'm saying before everybody present that whatever cause my father placed on you and your family can no longer have an effect on you. Hey! Good. 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 Day, I have forgiven you. Hey! My God bear me witness. You are now a free man. 